Okay, so I want to make a very brief video here about um, timing a TBI 350 Chevrolet or uh, 305, um, especially with these center bolt heads that are pretty efficient. So um, a lot of people get really jumpy. They'll set their initial timing to 8 degrees, 4 degrees, whatever. Um, you're supposed to set it to 0 degrees. And uh, when I bought this vehicle, it was set to 8 degrees, and I drove it around. It seemed kind of doggy. And I just set it back to zero degrees before top dead center. And uh, it runs the best right here. And that's because the computer in these TBI engines will adjust your timing. And at idle, it'll be at about you know 20 or so degrees um, with that computer advance. So you want to give it that nice zero baseline to start from. And uh, or else the computer, these are just real primitive fuel injection systems. The first thing you want to do when you set the timing on your engine is um, warm your engine all the way up to operating temperature. You want to do this because if your engine's running on choke or has a higher idle than normal, um, and then you go ahead and set your timing to zero when your engine idles down. Um, obviously, when you're setting your timing, this is a mechanical function. When the engine idles down, uh, your, your timing's going to be late. So you want to be up at operating temperature, operating RPM, and just sitting and idling. Then what you're going to do is you're going to want to go ahead and first shut the vehicle off. Um, but then you're going to want to disconnect your uh, advance wire. So um, what it is is I'm pretty lucky that mine's located uh, right here. Um, but if you have to go somewhere under your dash... And it's to your discretion. Um, they're kind of located all over the place in different trucks. Um, what I've done in the past is, I mean, see it's your um, brown wire with a black stripe coming off of your uh, right side of your connector coming off your distributor. And what I've done in the past is I've actually cut these and then um, hit them with some wire strippers. And then I use, uh, these aren't insulated, but then I just use these butt connectors like this, insulated ones, and I'll tape that up. So if I ever have to service it again or work with it, it's right there and easy instead of um, a truck. Like I said, I had to take out the whole glove box and just a whole bunch of menagerie. So um, that's always something to consider. But anyway, you want to unhook this, and this controls the computer advance. So um, once this is unhooked, then you can go ahead and start your engine back up. And you're going to have a timing light, and you want that to be on uh, your spark plug number one wire. So that's all the way on a Chevrolet, I believe, is the front driver's side of your engine. And uh, then um, you'll have a you'll have the timing marks on your timing tab located on the driver's side um, top, right under. If you have a power steering pump, it's right in that area, and it's hook to your timing cover and I'll show a picture of that here. So anyway, like I said, um, those timing marks you want to use that largest V is zero. So if you can't see it, you know, you can put a little um, marker on it. And then from there, it's pretty simple. You're just going to go ahead and um, to adjust your timing and to um, advance your timing, you're going to go ahead and turn your distributor uh, counterclockwise and to retard your timing, you're going to turn your distributor clockwise. Now, a little turn goes a long way, so um, you don't want to assume you want to have a buddy, either a buddy with these Chevrolets since they're way in the back, and if you can't get to them like on my van here, I really needed, um, I had someone else help me, but uh, again, you want to just watch that hold your timing light gun down on the uh, um, harmonic balancer and get your reading. Um, and this comes off with just a simple uh, 9 16 bolt that's located on the lower part of your distributor shaft. So anyway, you loosen that and then you can adjust your timing back and forth and it's all uh, really simple. But uh, like I said, I definitely would suggest running zero degrees before top dead center. Don't listen to any of the forums, anything that people say. Um, it definitely runs the best in that configuration. So I'm um, just adding advance. It messes with the computer. 
So it's the computer thinks it's at zero degrees, so you need to just set it to zero degrees. They're just dumb fuel injection systems. They're not as good as what we have today, so you got to give them every chance they can have to uh, to succeed there. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, real simple, real easy, but um, definitely uh, very important for power and throttle response to have your timing set correctly so your computer can understand what's going on and adjust your timing correctly. So there you have it.